It was March 9, 2018. President Uhuru Kenyatta and his arch-political rival, ODM leader, Raila Odinga, walked down the steps at the entrance of Harambe House in Nairobi. They glanced for the camera as the nation held its breath. It was a handshake between a duo who had agreed on little more than their mutual dislike. The historic handshake between the duo was to open a new political chapter in the landscape that keeps changing. The suspicion from the president's side was slowly setting in. While the deputy president William Ruto and the URP side of the Jubilee party never formally opposed the handshake, the political undertones were loud. Na wasikuje na kisirani ambayo inakuja kuleta matatizo katika chama ya Jubilee. The deputy president constantly reminding his political nemesis of his loyalty to the president. Hii kijana anaitwa Ruto unajua kila weekend anatanga tanga 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 kila pahali. Kijijini hata na huko kwenye vichochoro nataka nikupatie report. Factions then cropped up within the Jubilee party. Tanga tanga, kieleweke, embrace and inua mama. It was more apparent that the drift in Jubilee was getting bigger. Both the party head and his deputy downplayed the divisions. President Kenyatta fired the first salvo in his address to Akorino followers. The daggers were drawn. Na hayo wenzangu, haita timizika tukiendelea na siyasa duni. The DP and his allies first attracted scolding from figures in and out of government with claims of sabotage of the president's plan of a good legacy. Eh, tasa sisi mtungira analipa watu kutuita, sisi wawili it were the terrible duo from the house of the president. A president was fast losing grip of his political backyard. Raila Odinga and President Huru Kenyatta then crafted the Building Bridges Initiative, probably as a litmus test to know who is on their side and who is not, or a cleanser to sanitize the defaulters back home. Almost all political leaders flocked to support it, but maintained their stance. A series of pointers have showed that gloves were off in Jubilee, with the president and his deputy headed for an open clash. The latest, pushing the last nail down the coffin after the president blatantly cracked his whip on Team Tanga Tanga from the Senate. Mr. Speaker, this is not your decision. You made this decision under duress. So we must stop running the party as though it is family property. As the disquiet in the ruling party continues, opposition chief Raila Odinga insists that the Building Bridges initiative is on half time. Reggae is in half time. The president and his deputy could be pulling further apart as the president continues to court more allies. The DP allies also say they are focused on the political journey ahead. Reporting for TV47, I am Linda Alela.